everyone. I just got done filming the long version of unboxing the coffee maker and figuring it out along with you. So in this shorter video, now that I have an idea and I know what I'm doing, I'm going to share the quick version to get you started to making your first cup of coffee on your Drew Barrymore coffee maker and just some overall quick features now that I know what they are. So let's get started. I'm going to take you through the process and make it as easy as possible for you. Here's what the coffee maker box looks like. Um, really pretty, of course, because that's her whole line. It's called Beautiful. So you open it up and it comes like this. Uh, the coffee maker is out now. I've got it on the counter. And we're out in the she shed, by the way. And um, it comes with a coffee scoop, um, the reusable filter, um, all that kind of stuff. And then it also does have a um, carbon... I think that's what it's called, a filter that you put inside of it as well. So let me turn this around and show you the actual coffee maker. Okay, here's the coffee maker. It's got the book here and um, you can go to page 18. It comes in Spanish and English, which is great. And then this is how you can get started on everything before using for the first time. So you are going to want to fill up your doohickey with um, two full cups, um, like fill up your craft all the way. That's the words, <laughs> fill it up all the way twice and run it through. So you're going to brew it just like you would a normal cup of coffee, but you're cleaning the inside. So you're just using water and it tells you to not even put the filter in. So just follow the directions here very easy you're just running it through two cycles before you brew your first cup so here's what it looks like when you turn it on um, you can just press this button to turn it on um, and then you're going to look like this after 20 seconds of not touching it it's going to turn off like this and then you can just click it on again to do your selecting so um, your strength you can hit the plus or minus three, two, or one. One is regular, two is gourmet, and then three is bold or something like that. I'm going to have to check in the book. So I like it on one. And then you're going to hit the button quickly to go to one to four cups. And then you can do your clock. And then you can do your clean cycle. And then your keep warm. It automatically stays on for four hours unless you change that there. So what I learned is you click it quickly like this to go um, to each set. Since it is um, touch screen, you don't have to click it like an actual physical button. Just pressing it lightly will work. Um, it's just kind of like touching an iPhone. You don't really need to like push. It just needs to feel that your finger is there. Um, and then you can hold down the program for five seconds and then you can program it to brew your cup of coffee when you want. Just pay attention to the AM or the PM. And then let me go back to that again. I'm gonna hold it for five seconds. And then this is how you do the hours, okay? And then this is how you do the minutes. And if you hold it down, that's how you get it to jump for you instead of just pressing it one by one. So if you hold down either the hour or the minute, it kind of fast forwards um, for you very quickly. To make your cup of coffee, you just have to hit brew twice. And I'm going to show you in up here. So I'm making it underneath a shelf, so it's a little hard for me to stand it up. Um, it was like my only spot that I have out here in the she shed. So you fill up the water here. This is your little basket for your coffee to go in. And then I brewed a cup. So this is what it looks like after. And it's really nice because this is reusable. So I like that for the environment. I like that I don't need to keep buying filters. All I have to do is clean it up and that's it. It has a flat bottom so that you can stick this on your countertop and it stands up while you're filling it up with your favorite coffee inside. So I read that in the little book that it comes with and I thought that that was a nice feature. You just slip it down here, shut it, and then you go and hit brew twice. I was saying to read all of the little directions in that book that it comes with. 
as you're using it so that you um, know like the safety and things like that. I just feel like I want to mention that. So do take the time to read it. I just wanted to help in a visual way to show you how to work it. You'll notice in my first video that I couldn't figure out how to push the buttons or things like that. So just give it a chance. I've never had a copy maker like this. I always use a Keurig or um, like a regular drip coffee maker that has just the on and off button on the side. So I'm really excited to have this. It's pretty because you can see the buttons disappear. I really like that feature, but it's really easy to use after you give it a chance. And the brewed coffee tastes just like any other drip coffee that I make. Two more things that I wanna mention that I thought were cool. One, if your coffee is brewing and you go run and take a shower, do your hair, whatever in the morning, you're gonna come back and your coffee's still going to be warm. So it, it will keep your coffee warm. And then the second thing that I thought was cool was perfect for coffee lovers because you know how you're watching your cup of coffee brew and you can't take it and pour a cup? Well, this one, you can pull this out as it's brewing, quick pour a cup, put it back in and then it will resume brewing. So you can sneak in a cup and then have it finished brewing so that it's ready for you to dump in your second cup. So I like that. Um, you can read about that in the manual too with like more details about that, but that's just pretty much the concept of how it works. And I love that feature because I can never wait. I don't know about you, but that's awesome.